Get a buzz in more ways than one with this easy espresso martini. Just a few shakes of your cocktail shaker and you will be ready to party all night long. Hey everybody, I'm Kelly with the Suburban Soapbox and today we are making my new favorite cocktail, espresso martinis. They are super, super easy to make and you only need three ingredients. You can easily adapt this recipe to your, your taste by adding any type of Kahlua or coffee liqueur. You can use a flavored, I have a salted caramel Baileys that's fabulous in this, but for today we're just gonna stick with the basics. So to start, you're going to need cold brew or a cold brewed espresso. So if you want to, if you don't want to get cold brew coffee or make my cold brew concentrate from scratch, you can make a pot of espresso and then just chill it in the refrigerator. You're going to want your espresso to be cold so that it's not melting your ice and then you have a watered down cocktail. And that's why I like to use a cold brew concentrate. You can buy it at the store, or again, you can make my homemade version, which really takes no time at all. It's super simple. So, to start, you're going to need a cocktail shaker. And I already put half full with ice, and you're going to add your cold brew concentrate. And the cold brew concentrate is what's going to make your foam for that top layer of your espresso martini. So an espresso martini is like a coffee martini, obviously, with a vodka base and then the Kahlua for extra like sweetness and coffee flavor. We're going to add a little bit of vodka. And then we're gonna add our Kahlua. And you can make this as strong or as weak as you like. Just gonna press down the lid, the cocktail shaker, and then shake it up. Now, a lot of espresso martinis do call for an egg white, and that will make your layer on top a little bit thicker. I don't really think it needs the egg white, but if you wanna add like maybe a half a teaspoon of egg white, to your espresso martini, you certainly can do that. And then it'll get even more frothy on top. It'll also hold that frothy layer a little bit longer than it will when we pour this into the glass. So I'm just gonna shake it for a few more seconds and then we'll pour it into our glass. All right, now we're ready. You can see the frothy layer is kind of separating a little bit. And that's exactly what you want. And now we're just gonna top it with a few coffee beans. They will float. That is your espresso martini. I'm gonna take a sip. Mm. That is so good. It's a little sweet with that punch of coffee so good. You might want to drink this in the morning when you first get up. If you like this recipe, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For more easy recipes, visit thesuburbansoapbox.com. Thanks again.